perfect in French. It sounded <laughs> lovely in French. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> One more question for me, and then we'll open it up for your questions. But um, what inspires you? How do you write? I mean, as a writer, what actually is your... You said you write from 4.30 to 5.30. Is it... What's the process of writing, and how do you write a play? Are you inspired by one particular item in the news? Is it a whole thing? And then and then, how do you actually develop it? What's Usually your a visual image. Uh, I very much like... Uh, because I love the theatre, I do love going to the theatre, and I love being in a theatre. And often theatres, if I go into a beautiful theatre, I want to write for it because uh, I still love the sensation of the theatre. It's so exciting. And so often I have a visual image of what a stage might look like. Um, so if you take plenty, for instance, this whole idea that there would be high windows of a stripped room and that a woman would be sitting on some boxes, um, obviously about to move house, and that there'd be a Chinese takeaway on the floor and a naked man lying on the floor. Uh, and that meanwhile, which the actresses who've played the part say is the cruelest thing anyone has ever done to an actor, because they're always so nervous in the first scene and she has to roll a cigarette as the first action of the play is to wrap up tobacco in paper, which everyone says is a sadistic thing to ask of an actor in the first 30 seconds of a play. But that image of a woman, oh my goodness me, sitting in a man's overcoat with high windows in a stripped room, I just want to see that play. The minute I had that image, I would go, wow, I want to stay and see this play. And so that feeling of a, of a kind of how the feeling of the theatre will be when I walk into the opening of the play is really... Uh, Get, and and that, off, that sensation often gets me through the whole evening of uh, I, plays are delicious or enjoyable on that basis. And so it's poetic, I suppose, that, that, that something visually poetic always excites me. Yeah. 